I'm actually wondering in a series like this if we'll ever even get a mention of the Force. Like, may the Force be with you? Anything like that. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, before I jump into it, please remember to hit like and subscribe. As I've mentioned before, it's a very small gesture to have a very big impact on the channel, so I appreciate it so very much. Episode 3 of Andor. I am so looking forward to this. I, I feel like this has all been leading to this episode. He, uh, Andor is about to meet this I don't know what he's gonna be yet I don't know if he's uh you know a part of the rebellion if the rebellion exists it's five uh before the battle of Yavin the rebellion is kind of forming at this point so is he a part of the overarching rebellion is he a part of a cell is he a part of you know, what is he? I, that is where my real question is right now. It's not even, is Cassian going to get away? He will. He has to. I like where this, is sto this story is going because I feel like I'm seeing paths now. At first, I thought it was just Cassian's path. But I'm starting to see at least that one other path starting to form too. So, if that's the case. Ooh. I, actually, I feel like this story is about to open up. A great deal because we haven't even touched on the empire at all yet oh and before i jump into this the full reaction will be up on the patreon if you're in a position to help out the channel i will appreciate it if not that's fine too we've got this speaking of this let's get into the video video episode Not sure what species they are. Hmm. Okay. Where are you going? It's better you don't know. I'll be back. I'll find a way. That's not how it works. It's a nice sentiment. It's been a complication. I missed the window to go back. Calmly. Three more enforcement put out a bulletin last night for someone meeting Cassian's description. I was seeing it. He killed these men on Molana. Oh, then we better be quick about it. Hmm. Where is he? Reaper density acceptable. Airborne concentration minimal. No detectable gas toxicity. There. Are we satisfied? <laughs> We need to leave now. I was wondering how he met her. But in that case, by all means, let's power forward. Republic frigate approaching. Yep, Republic era. I really want to know what that thing is. Doing. He's got people here. Yeah, people who just killed a Republic officer. It'll be open season here the moment that frigate lands. Ah! <laughs> I'm not leaving him here to die. Please, team on site. The, the, the Republic would kill them? B, are you back yet? Please tell me these things are working. B. Keeps the heat on to the east. You know how cold she gets. East, east, northeast. Got it. Please come in. Drawing a crowd. I'd say two, sir. Call east. Hang it. Tell him we're on our way. Cassian. Come at me. Timing. Are you hearing me? Keep 40,000 credits is cheap. Is it? <laughs> An untraceable Starbath unit. Vector crystals and seals still intact. You can track every Imperial coordinate for nine radial parsecs. You know where I live? So I could come back if I were dissatisfied. You're planning on sticking around, are you? Hmm. I need to go find him. No, fix No. Someone has to. It could be anywhere. Tell her. Don't. Don't. Don't what? How do you know what we're talking about? Yeah. Freaking budget. Cassie was born in Canary. What did 
you do? Tim! Freaking... Mm. Where'd you get it? How's that possible? It was... It was sealed on the Imperial Naval Base in Stiergard. Look, you got the money, I got the box. What else is there to talk about? I'll give you another thousand credits to tell me how you got it. How? <laughs> just walk in like you belong. They're so proud of themselves. They don't even care. They're so fat and satisfied. They can't imagine it. Walk their floors, spit in their food, take their gear. The arrogance <laughs> is remarkable, isn't it? They don't even uh, think about us. Well, they'd hang me, wouldn't they? Take me up Rick's Road and hang me in the square. Isn't that where they hung your father? Who are you? What is this? The right question is, how much time do we have to get out of here? Why would I go anywhere with you? Don't you want to fight these bastards for real? <laughs> uh. Love this community. Need a speeder. What's the best option? West, into town. Where does that go? Under the old furnace. Does it get us out of here? Yeah. What is that? I put slap charges on the doors. What? <laughs> Rule number two: build your exit on your way in. Brace yourself. No! I'm going. Cover me. Forget the box. Nice. I told you to wait. Ah. Oh. Yep. Go, go, go. Max! Max! What have you done to us? You stop right there. She's bleeding! I'm telling you to stop. Yeah, you're an idiot. Kind of deserve that. What's going on up there? Hello? Hello? Okay, trigger happy much? This guy. You wanted to stop just Oh no. Oh no. So when it stops. When you really want to start to fret. Why? What happens then? Oh, it wasn't a warning. Go, go, go! It's a call to arms. No team status. In position. Eyes open, lads. Drop the weapon. This is gonna end badly for you, buddy. of those charges you have left. I love this is an audition as much as it is an escape. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Two char ah Small charge to disable it. A large charge to take out the guys all around. That. <sighs> oh. 
the show so many people want to rebel and are willing to. That was the episode. That was the episode. I kept waiting for that pop. You knew it was coming. Something was going to happen eventually and just be that pop that just sets everything in motion. And boy, howdy, did we get it in this episode. Oh my goodness, this was fantastic. And very much like I said before, where I felt like the other episodes were leading to something. This is what it was leading to. This is the moment it was all leading to. And it led to more than I was really thinking about. It wasn't just him getting recruited. It wasn't him just meeting the first Republic or Republic Rebellion contact he has. We, we got to see him audition, which is essentially what that turned into. It was, that's why uh, Stellan kept asking him, Okay, what are you going to do in this situation? All right, what do you want to do here? What do you want to do here? Like, he was a guy who had figured out everything he would do in this situation already, but he wanted to know what Cassian would do. What What is your thinking in this moment? And he just kept letting him do his thing for the most part. I, I, I really think he's going to be the person who makes Cassian, who forges him into the person we know later. But the thing that resonated with me most were the people the people there it showed how much these people want to rebel even if it's somewhat quiet you know it's not open rebellion it is very quiet it is very cunning it, it is very much a rebellion of its own sort but these people aren't being led they're just doing it together so without someone to lead them this is what they can do they do sabotage they do things you know they they tether the ship to the shipyard and boy that was awesome they do things along those lines they sabotage they do whatever they can to stop them without openly engaging and it was brilliant it was just brilliant. I loved it. And it shows the galaxy, even just on this one little planet, which actually not so little, but, you know, medium size, we'll say, planet, where they, they're they ready for that change. They're ready for rebellion, but they don't have anybody leading them yet. They don't have that figurehead. That's, I think, where we're going to get Mon Mothma. We're finally going to start getting a figurehead in the rebellion. So people will galvanize. The people will become something for the Empire to truly, truly take as a threat. And Cassian said it in that beautiful speech, which we'd heard bits of in the trailers, about how the Empire just basically being so fat and arrogant that they don't take regular people seriously. And that is kind of why the Rebellion works. Because the Empire is arrogant they do believe they're better than the rebellion they do believe that they're better than all these disparate bands of people and it's part of their downfall and cassian kind of personifies that because he is someone that is shouldn't be able to walk into their house as he put it and he does it just like the rebellion does oh my goodness this show this show oh i cannot wait for next week this was wonderful this was absolutely wonderful i cannot wait <sighs> all right what are your thoughts after this episode or all three whatever they might be what do you think's next for cassian do you think we're going straight into the rebellion or are we still in rebel cells do you think we're going to get Mon Mothma next week? I kind of do. Will Mr. Corporate Guy get drummed out of the corporate <laughs> side of things and go join the Empire? I kind of think he will. Whatever your thoughts, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like and subscribe. I mentioned it at the beginning. It helps the channel out tremendously. Oh, and keep in mind the full episode reactions will be up on my Patreon like I mentioned earlier. All right, and before I go, as always, please take care of yourselves 
and please take care of each other. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.